Jennifer Lopez files for divorce from Ben Affleck on second wedding anniversary and there's no prenup. She has officially filed for a divorce from Ben Affleck after months of split rumors. Jennifer, 55, filed for divorce without an attorney on Tuesday, August 20, which also marks the couple's second wedding anniversary. Lopez, who has recently been seen wearing her wedding ring, listed the date of separation as April 26, 2024, as per legal dog scene. The couple did not sign a prenuptial agreement before tying the knot in July 2022. Insiders have revealed. This marks Jennifer's fourth failed marriage and Ben's second Daily Mail.com has reached out to reps for Ben and Jennifer for comment. Jennifer's own friends have now suggested the actress needs to look inside herself after she filed for divorce from Ben. A source close to the star said those close to Lopez are growing tired of her chaotic love life. After four failed marriages, her friends feel that she should take a look inside and focus on herself instead of what others want her to be and finally figure out who she is and what she wants from her future. Jennifer said she was tired of being humiliated by Ben and she waited until the two-year anniversary because she wanted to sting. But it did not sting him. He's been done for a long time and deep down she knows this. He let her have this so that she wouldn't look like the villain they pair were spotted on a number of public outings together including their very last one on June 2nd after they had already decided to go their separate ways two months earlier at the time they were seen greeting each other warmly, even appearing to give each other a kiss as they attended Affleck's 12-year-old son Samuel's basketball game in Santa Monica, Lopez and Affleck also appeared to be in high spirits while leaving together even though, as it is now revealed, they had already secretly called it off on April 26. The couple first sparked separation rumors when they had gone 47 days without being seen together. Split speculation continued as they did not spend a number of holidays over the summer together and Lopez also walked the red carpet alone at the Met Gala in May which was also when Lopez called off her world tour to be with her family. Since then, the pair have been spending summers on opposite coasts and did not spend their anniversary together in recent months. However, the pair have been spotted out together on a handful of occasions but notably all were when Affleck's kids were present as they had reportedly been trying to rekindle their romance after being noticed without their wedding rings on several outings. They also started making it apparent that they were once again wearing their tokens of commitment. Lopez was even seen paying Affleck a special visit on his birthday at his rental property in Brentwood, California. The shocking divorce filing comes after they were seen stepping out together and even occasionally putting on PDA several times in an effort to maintain that they were reconciling in spite of being incessantly hounded by rumors of marital strife. However, the public was largely unaware that they had already separated in secrecy on April 26, which is listed as their official date of separation on Lopez's divorce filing in the weeks prior to their secret split. The pair had been putting on PDA during their outings in late March and being very affectionate while house hunting together in New York City after celebrating Easter together in Brooklyn, Affleck returned to sunny California to film The Accountant 2. In the following weeks, Lopez spent a majority of her time in New York City but it appears that's when the cracks started showing in their marriage as they would not be pictured together for over a month just days prior to their secret split in mid-April Lopez met up with Affleck's best friend and business partner Matt Damon and his wife. In the following weeks Affleck skipped out on a number of his wife's gigs in May including the premiere of her Netflix movie Atlas as well as her major role as a co-chair at the Met Gala after sparking speculation of turmoil in their marriage and spending 47 days apart. They seemingly started to make a show of unity in going on public outings together on May 16. The couple finally reunited at Affleck's second child Finn's recital in Los Angeles and in the following days they were seen together again at another family event during which Affleck revealed he still had her saved in his phone as Jennifer Affleck alongside a sexy contact photographer weeks later they were spotted arriving at Affleck's eldest daughter Violet's graduation party together, but there was a noticeable sense of tension just the following day they put on a rare display of PDA and were spotted holding hands while attending Violet's high school graduation, they were also spotted, seemingly in good spirits. 
at Affleck's son Samuel's basketball game in Santa Monica on June 2nd, which was the last day they were pictured together in public even though it appeared as if they had reconciled. It appears they were maintaining a pretense as they hired a realtor to put their marital home up for sale just a week later. Around the same time it was reported that Affleck had already moved out of their mansion, which they purchased together just a year ago after a two-year hunt for their dream home perhaps not for any reason besides to work out divvying up their assets. Lopez was seen paying Affleck a visit at his Brentwood rental home on June 15th. She even wished him a happy Father's Day on social media the following day, calling him a hero even though he opted to spend the holiday with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. Afterwards Lopez attempted to shake off the heartache as she ventured on a solo jaunt across Europe in late June, even recreating her very PDA-filled 2021 holiday with her estranged husband and dining at the same restaurant where they shared heated kisses, meanwhile he was in Los Angeles and going on outings without his wedding ring on his finger dot in early July. It was reported that Affleck had started moving out the rest of his belongings from their shared home and they began the process of selling their artwork in the $60 million mansion in the following weeks. The couple spend the majority of their summer and even 4th of July on separate coasts with Affleck in Los Angeles and Lopez in the Hamptons as they spent miles apart, both literally and figuratively. It was reported that their kids were working behind the scenes to try to get them back together ahead of Lopez's 55th birthday, however. Their efforts would seemingly prove futile in the end as Lopez made a bold statement by replacing her band necklace with her own name during one of her Hamptons outings to the gym in Julie during that excursion on July 19. However, she still kept her wedding ring on, and it was reported that the pair were secretly working on reconciling their romance. However, it was then when it seemingly fell apart again when Affleck humiliated Lopez on her birthday by not only skipping out on her lavish celebration in the Hamptons but also choosing the day to sign the deed to his bachelor pad afterwards. Sources revealed that they had finalized their divorce papers but Affleck was putting it off on filing. In the following weeks the Jenny from the block singer continued to wear her wedding ring even once moving it to her other hand and removing the wedding band but still wearing it and was seemingly not giving up hope completely after her birthday on July 24 they had not been seen together in public for 52 days and August 2nd marked two sad months of the pair not having been pictured together. After it was reported that the pair had stopped talking to each other on August 5th, the pair seemingly tried to remedy fate on August 12th. Lopez went shopping with Affleck's son Samuel and was reportedly a surprise visitor as she went inside while dropping him off. Three days later, she quietly visited Affleck's rental home for a brief appearance at his intimate birthday party which also included Garner and their three kids however, she spent the rest of the night with her girlfriends at a Bruno Mars concert. And less than a week later, she made their split official as she finally filed for divorce by herself, without an attorney while Affleck was traveling back to Los Angeles with Garner after moving their daughter Violet into college. After Ben and his ex-wife Jennifer dropped off their daughter at college, the former couple's child Finn appeared to confirm that their sibling Violet was attending Yale University after they were spotted wearing a sweatshirt from the famous institution without a prenup in place. Jennifer and Ben's individual earnings from the last two years, whether it be from film projects or major brand deals, are community property. One major asset the estranged couple will need to agree on is a $60.85 million home in Beverly Hills, California that they purchased last year. The former couple listed the home which has 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms in June for $65 million then relisted it after making recent renovations for $68 million. The home in the Tony Southern California neighborhood arrived last month of the market after further work was done on the abode, which took Lopez and Affleck two years to pick out. Lopez's mother two twins M and Maximilian, 16, with ex-husband Mark Anthony, 55, while Affleck is father to children Violet, 18, Finn, 15, and Samuel, 12, with ex-wife Jennifer Garner, 52, Affleck's demeanor was cited as a reason for the split between the stars, who had famously dated two decades earlier. If people could see what she has really gone through they would be easier on her, a source says last month Ben is a great guy but he can be grumpy and a downer. If they saw how it really was, 
They would not attack her, the source added. He chain smokes and cusses and seems irritated a lot of the time. Great director and actor, but not a lot of laughs with him, you know. He's a wonderful father though. Both Ben and Jen have been pictured publicly with and without their wedding rings in recent months. A source recently says that Jennifer has been left humiliated by the split and that she's furious with Ben.